Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. When we left off last time, um, I learned how to use the card. When we got the card, Mei Ling said, oh, you only need to be in proximity for a door and it'll open. So I thought, okay, good. I just, if it's in my inventory, now all the doors will open. No, you actually have to have it equipped. But, so, although it took me forever, I am now ready. But we can't get in that one. Ooh, this one we can. Oh, C4. Fantastic. Okay, and I know where to use that, but let's continue checking all of these out that we can first. Nope. Oh, no. We don't need that one. All of these are higher clearing stores than we've got. Well, our on-site weapons procurement is going well at any rate. Let's go bust open this one. Yeah, I really need to be more careful about that. Um, where did it go? Aha, right here. This was recently cemented over. C4. Square to set, circle to... Okay, so we probably do not want to stand right next to it. Let's go over here. There we go. This was not the door we needed. There must be more. And we went all the way around the exterior, I think, so maybe we can explode into some of these ones that are locked. Not that one, that one opens. Let's just look more carefully. I don't want to risk misusing any because we don't have a whole lot. Now this looks like maybe another one. Yeah. I know I should have knocked on the wall to be sure, but there we go. Get out of that. Now then. It seems like maybe there should be some along this wall then. Alright. Let's try the old first person perspective. I can't move in that perspective. That would be kind of nice, but not the end of the world. We'll still make it happen. Uh, well, that's a level 4 door there. We're not getting that anytime soon. There's one. Right here. And that was the one we needed. Hey, hey! Progress. Oh, our radar's jammed. I don't like that. Okay, let's get the gun back on in case. Let's also talk to Mailing because. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to end up fighting Psycho Mantis sometime soon here. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. Yeah. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. Psychic interference. Anyway, be careful. Be careful, Snake. I I am a highly trained operative, Mei Ling. I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm supposed to, but okay, what? Oh, there's gotta be more. Oh, this looks awfully cementy. Oops. Let's equip the proper thing. There we 
go. Right here, looks like. Oh, is he in here? Am I too late? Yeah, utterly failed on the rescue the hostages department. Oh, hey. Thought you were dead, buddy. He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. Oh, wow. <laughs> right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. You. Special operations, Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Aha. Uh -huh. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. I, this was really big stuff back in the day, now I'm we'll sure. So. The man can live up to the legend. I'm, I'm enjoying the, this the pistol is twirling. This handgun ever made. The Colt's single action army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. We'll see about that. Actually, I'm worried now that will show me. you why they call me... Revolver Ocelot. Revolver. Draw! No! Oh, boy. I am really nervous about this. Let's get our gun on. Draw! Where is he? Ah! Whoops. Well, that was another failure. <laughs> <You idiot. laughs> it was pretty idiotic. I'll agree. Um, okay. All right, here's here it is. We can skip all that. Mailing. Are you hurt, Snake? Well, I'm about to be. All right. Come on, Snake. You can do it. Thanks for the encouragement. I'm, I'm not feeling that confident myself, but okay. Oh. Let's stick to the edges. Get back here. I'm not hiding. I there you are. I love to reload. Alright. All right. I'm alive again. Let's go. <laughs> I'm alive again. Let's go. Quit running away. Alright. We know his game now. I see you, Revolver. Oh, this guy. Fine. You better Oop. hurry up. The old man's not gonna last too long. Well, hold still. Now, oh, I'm out of bullets. This is a problem. Don't you want to settle this? I'm trying to. I'm just not good at it, and I really want. Don't kill him. The smell of you know, that sulfury smell. Yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, I probably should but shoot through you, the middle. It'll be the smell of your own death. Wait a minute. 
Oh my gosh, now I'm out of bullets. This is this is rough with the perspective. Uh, I guess we could. This seems awfully dangerous, but I think we got to. Um, and then try and no, he says there's no way I'm gonna manage to chase him into the corner. <gasps> okay, so that does not work at all. No grenades. Grenades are straight out. I just have to suck a whole lot less aim. I I don't know which I like better. I this is not where we saved. How do I I wanna load? This isn't gonna save. Nate, you can't use your radar in I, that air. I know. No, don't. Well, Alright, this is going to take a couple tries. This is obnoxious. I really have to go through all of the preamble every time. I mean, at the very least, I wish it would let me start right after busting through this door. Skippable scene. Okay. Try harder to not suck at the gun. Hiding won't help you. I understand the bullets you see. I make them go where I want. Hiding won't help you. I love to reload during a battle. There's nothing. There's nothing like reloading. Weirdo. All right. as long as it takes. Don't you want to settle this? Stop and reload again. That's my best opportunity. I love the smell of quarter. Oh my gosh, I can't even there. Whoops, too close. Ah you idiot! You idiot! Okay, I got him once. I love to reload during a battle. That was pretty good. So instead of running right. like crazy, Bye. let's go. I gotta focus a lot more on just stopping and shooting him across the way. Where are you? Hiding won't help. And it looks like I can only get one shot in of damage at a time. You better hurry up. The old man's not gonna last too long. He'll be just fine, one hopes. Don't you want to settle this? Ha 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 ha! Ah! You know. All right. Progress. But to you, it'll be the smell of your own death. Okay. Oops. Okay. Oh, I should probably actually. I'm watching his health and not my own. Go. Right here. That would be great. Dang it. Okay, almost. 
seven bullets. Don't mess this up. I should have called you Revolver Cheetah, the way you run everywhere. Gosh, one more hit, and we only got one more bullet. We can't miss this. All right, you have to stop to reload. Wait a minute. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. That's not what I want to hear. What? My hand! What is going on here? Stealth camouflage. Who is that? Die right. You were lucky. We'll meet again. Who are you? I like you. I have no name. Well, I have a name. Everyone calls me Snake. That that exoskeleton. Cyborg. Are you okay? Right? The hell? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking too, Snake. I'm with you. Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I talked. What? Well now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. Well, what broke you then? He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Hmm. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. That everyone the has it. Of course. Who but the DARPA the chief says Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> well, that seems like, like a rather like previous you, oversight. Right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Well... Dead. What? I can't be... You know, that's not what you promised, Jim! Hey! Now you want to shut me up! Oh. Quit smacking Calm me with your pain! What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, There's more going on here than we know, Snake. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. They silenced him. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? Yeah. To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. Uh, what? Who does then? Not the terrorists. No. That woman. Huh? Woman? Who? 
a soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier oh. it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. Oh, that's interesting. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, come on! Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! Really? <sighs> oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? What does he mean, the back of the CD case? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. We can destroy Where is it? This Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. Mm -hmm. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? Can't say no. that I have. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. Mm, that is available. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not mm -hmm. only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. Uh -huh. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. This is a lot deeper than the I expected. Metal Gear. Yes, you know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. This is a really cool story. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I... I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Hey! Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. 
They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. Well, that means that they're I just gonna kill you. Question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. Mm. <coughs> well, obviously, that genome soldier is carrying a grudge against Foxhound. You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. Will do. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. I don't really care about that, but I do care about, what? you know, protecting Doesn't people. Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Oh, this again. What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went in. Did it. What are you talking him. about? They, they, they are just using you for... <sighs> Snake Man, I know you're all just... I'm just here to do my mission, but there's way more going on here than you what know. The hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... But it's not a heart kind attack. Of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Okay, Meryl must Snake, be that girl. There's we saw. a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. It's hard for me to trust you, team, when there's obviously a lot more going on than what you're telling me. Alright, this was a lot of story to digest at once. Wow, all kinds of cool stuff going on. What do they mean, her numbers on the CD? Do they mean that thing that he just, the disc he gave me? Oh, look how ancient that is, that little uh, picture for it. It's, <laughs> it's a floppy disk. Um, No, what is, on the back of the CD? They don't mean like the actual jewel case for the game, do they? I don't have that right handy. Um, well, it's time to wind the episode down, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. The plot is certainly thickening. We've got a lot of things to consider here. This, this is pretty cool.